2006 and again in 2011, the Canadian government worked to evacuate citizens caught in the outbreak of conflict when they asked uh, the government for help. Are you willing to do so for Canadians caught in Hong Kong? Uh, we are. Uh, very aware of the difficult situation in Hong Kong right now. We uh, repeat our calls for uh, peace, for de-escalation, uh, for uh, listening uh, by uh, local authorities and by the Chinese government to the preoccupations uh, expressed by the citizens of Hong Kong. There are 300,000 Canadian citizens in Hong Kong. It's the largest uh, group of uh, citizens of any country uh, in Hong Kong right now. So we are very concerned about them, but we also are very concerned about human rights and freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, uh, and we are going to continue to uh, call upon the Chinese government to respect the uh, one country, two systems uh, agreement that they have long abided by. And uh, Andrew Scheer says he won't lift a finger to help formerly British Canadian ISIS fighter now that the UK has stripped him of his British, uh, British citizenship. Uh, what will Canada do? It is a crime. Uh, in Canada to travel for the purposes of uh, supporting or engaging in terrorism, uh, and we will ensure that the laws are fully enforced. Bonjour, Hugo Pilon La Rose, du journal La Presse. Monsieur Trudeau, uh, Monsieur Trudeau Jason Kenney, a Jason Kenney uh, has uh, said this weekend that he couldn't make, have a referendum to take Alberta out of per question. Can he do it legally? And, and uh, is he uh, putting key stability in question? Something bizarre I find in all of this is that the current Periquation um, formula was established by the government in which Ken, Jason Kenney was sitting on. He was part of, he was an important representative and even a leader among this government. So for the fact of, for political reasons, he is attacking a system that he has established himself, has put in place himself, uh, should have a few people thrown over this. Many people uh, are looking at the Quebec City uh, area newspapers uh, are in struggling. Uh, can Ottawa offer an emergency help uh, to those newspapers? We're really preoccupied by the situation that the media are facing uh, across the country, and we understand that uh, you have an essential role to play in our democracy. And a, a, a free press and a strong press is essential to the good functioning of our society. That's why that in the last budget, we've put forth millions of dollars to support our uh, printed media, and we will look uh, for uh, medias that are struggling uh, while respecting the role, the essential role and independent role that they have. I'd like to have uh, an answer in both languages. Uh, for the colleagues in Ottawa, the third party um, advertisement should be uh, submitted to electoral laws by environmental groups. And we will always uh, look at the role and respect the role of Election Canada to put in place the rules by, in an independent fashion for our elections. It is, our, it is the role of Election Canada, it's an important role, but at the same time, it underlines up to what point. It is frustrating that we are still at in a debate mode to see if climatic changes are real or not, or if we should act or not on those. I think, and I believe we all understand up to what point we need to act concretely now to fight against climatic changes and to make sure that the citizens find uh, an affordable way of, uh, of transitioning uh, in our lives. As a government, we made some important steps. Uh, to, we've adopted those steps to stop pollution, to protect our uh, lands and, and, and waterways, and to invest in green technology and uh, renewable energy. So we understand that there's much more to do. The fact that politicians, conservative politicians, continue to pretend that we need to, that we shouldn't act, that we don't need to fight climatic changes, underlines the fact that they don't understand that we cannot have a plan for the future of the economy if we don't have a plan for the protection of the environment. Of course, I will always uh, respect Elections Canada's role and responsibility to independently uh, apply electoral law. But I think the whole question highlights the fact that it's so frustrating that there are still conservative politicians in this country who don't think that climate change is real and certainly don't think we should be doing anything 
to fight it. As a government, we have made significant investments by putting a price on pollution, by uh, protecting our, our uh, marine and land areas, by investing in renewables, investing in new technologies, and by making sure that this transition is affordable for ordinary Canadians. Conservative politicians are still fighting against that, including in court, and have not understood that you can't pretend you have a plan for the future of our economy if you don't have a real plan to protect the environment. Dans ce contexte -là, alors, que In that de context, la loi is uh, the uh, interpretation uh, of law uh, too strict? We will even, uh, of course, we will look at what Elections Canada will say in the next few days uh, following the questions that people are raising. Andrew Scheer has asked the RCMP to investigate on your uh, involvement in SNC-Lavalin. Uh, what makes you believe that your pressures against Madame uh, Rachel Weibel is not an, an obstruction of justice? It is the role of any prime minister to defend the interests of Canadians, to defend jobs. It's exactly what I did. We did it while respecting the independence and the integrity of our uh, judiciary system and I will always, always do everything I can to defend the interests and the jobs for Canadians, for families, and for retirees across the country. Is it possible to act differently, considering that Madame wilson raybould was combining the two roles? That's exactly what I think that we've acknowledged the situation in the last year that should have happened differently. And that's why we've asked, uh, as a matter of fact, the former uh, uh, prosecutors and Metland to consult uh, with, to make rec rec recommendations so that we do not and any other government do the same mistakes that we did in the last year. Uh, we are looking forward to put forth the recommendations of the, that the McLennan report. So you should have acted differently. You acknowledge that we should have changed. Yes, yeah, certainly. Certainly. And I've, I've said it often that we should have acted differently. And that's why we've asked to uh, former Minister McLennan to establish a way to go forth uh, in order to enable the governments to act differently. Can I? Can you answer the same thing in, in, in English? And the fact that uh, that we um, one of the things uh, that a prime minister's responsibility is and always is, is to stand up for jobs and to protect Canadians right across the country, uh, Canadians, their families, uh, retirees. That's something that is my job and that I will always do. I will do it in such a way that upholds the independence of our judicial system and the independence. Uh, of our prosecutors. Uh, we recognize that things should have been done differently, and that's why months ago we asked former uh, Attorney General Ann McClellan uh, to uh, have conversations and consult experts, former attorneys general, uh, constitutional law professors, to establish a way forward so that neither our government nor any other government ever finds himself in the uh, difficult situation we found ourselves in. Mr. Prime Minister, could you intervene uh, to block the transaction between Air Canada and Air Transat? Listen, we are um, following attentively uh, this, uh, uh, closely this, uh, this uh, case, and, but we're trusting the, the systems in place to evaluate and assess uh, the consequences of such, uh, such a purchase. You spoke about capital media. It's a very uh, tough day for some of the colleagues. Well, the, could the federal government do more than what was announced previously? We understand up to what point uh, media are playing an essential role, a critical role in democracy. When we see uh, some de democracies in peril or in a situation that is a tough situation or an extreme polarization, often is the fact that media themselves are attacked for the job they're doing. And in Canada, we acknowledge and we celebrate, we defend the integrity and the independence of our media. 
Nous avons pris des mesures now we've uh, taken some important measures in the 2019 budget, but we're always ready to continue to speak with our media on how we can first acknowledge that we are in a media world or media realm, a, a digital world that is in transformation, but that the, the target that we are pursuing to make sure that you have the ability and resources to ask every uh, possible question and do every possible investigation uh, with our representatives as citizens and to report truth and news to citizens. It, it is essential. We will always be there to see how we can help and while respecting the independence, essential independence of the media. I understand it's a, it's a big day to announce a tramway, uh, Mr. Mayor, but at the same time, there's a sad news that, that we're hearing about. Well, a few years, we, we've said it for TQS, a, a TV network. In, a, in terms of democracy, we need as much as possible media, we, and those existing must survive in the multiplication of media sources and media in, the, in a democracy is, a, is fundamental, and I dearly uh, uh, hope that the Quebec Soleil will continue to be uh, edited and published uh, for, for Hi, a long time. Bonjour. I have a question for you, Prime Minister. Uh, regarding equalization payments, Premier Kenny took the time to write a long message in Facebook answering uh, Premier Legault uh, of what he said uh, this weekend. What do you make out of this dissension between the two on equalization payments? I think uh, that's certainly something that you can ask uh, both of them. But as I highlighted earlier, Jason Kenney was uh, part of the government that uh, established the current equalization formula. Uh, it seems very political that he is now having problems with something that he himself put forward. And regarding um, the SNC-Lavalin affair, I wanted to, uh, to ask you again, um, Andrew Shear took the time to write to the RCMP, to send a letter to the RCMP asking the force to basically investigate about, um, well, the, your actions in the, uh, the SNC-Lavalin affair as a possible obstruction of justice. So, so what do you make out of this move today? Uh the the conservatives will continue to um uh, to ask questions as is important for a, a, a an official opposition uh, we will continue uh, to stand up and defend jobs and make the kinds of investments and announcements that we're making today um, it is something to highlight that a number of weeks ago when uh, Andrew Scheer was asked about the tramway, he said he opposes uh, this tramway project. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm guaranteeing that uh, uh, this government has uh, allocated the funds and is moving forward on this project. I think there are questions for Mr. Scheer about his uh, continued commitment to the city of Quebec and to uh, the excellent project that has been put forward by uh, our partners here. My question is for the Prime Minister. You have two elected officials. Uh, will the announcement be good to make some gains in the upcoming elections? What I think the timing is all the investments that we've made through the last four years that have an impact, a positive impact for the people in the, uh, the national capital area. And we know that those announcements are those that we worked on for many years. But uh, uh, whether it's the partnerships and investments that we've did uh, elsewhere in the region or the direct help to families or the uh, free trade agreement that we've signed and that our benefits uh, for the economic growth here, we've demonstrated our approach to invest in the citizen, to invest in the communities. Work, works really well for the people of the Quebec City area, and that's exactly what we will continue doing. The Conservatives in 2015, and once again today, continue to think that by lowering income taxes for the better off and cut services for the others is the best way to create economic growth. Now, we've demonstrated for four years that by seeing over a million jobs created across the country while getting 825,000 
thousand people out of poverty, including three hundred thousand children, that our approach to invest in communities to be partners with the municipalities and to work hand in hand uh, with the provincial governments. We can invest to, to build to create prosperity. This is what people from Quebec City see really well, and furthermore, continue to see that conservatives are refusing to accept that investments to counter climatic changes are essential for a real plan to fight against climatic changes, for me, underlines the, the fact that the people from the, the capital city area are not well served by the conservative uh, MPs that are continuing to block actions on climatic change. So October 22nd in the morning, will you be able to make gains in the area? We, I know that we will make gains in Quebec City, and it is due to everything we've did for the last four years, and also that we will continue to do together in the years coming. I'd like to hear you on this, Mr. Labon. Will the federal election coming change something for the, uh, the project in Quebec City? I think if there was a, you know, a, a, a problem uh, or a big plan, a hidden plan behind this, we would have seen it on, you know, August, more August 19th. That's not how it happened. So the second thing, and that's the beauty of democracy, because democracy enables us to go through essential times to sell our issues, and well, all the best for democracy. Last question. Good afternoon, Raquel Fletcher from Global News. I have a question from my colleague in Ottawa. Um, the family of the man known as Jihadi Jack has said they have reached out to your office to help them to bring him to uh, out of Syria and to Canada. Uh, what is your office doing to help the family, and are you open to him coming to live in Canada? Uh, the Minister of Public Safety had uh, addressed these questions yesterday. What I will reinforce is that it is a crime to travel internationally uh, with a goal of supporting terrorism or engaging in terrorism. Uh, and that is a crime that we will continue uh, to uh, make all attempts to prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, that is the message we have for, for Canadians and for anyone involved. So you're not open to him coming to Canada? We continue to recognize that it is a crime to travel for the purpose of uh, engaging in terrorist activities. Can you, you can you that's, comment that's, about Capital Media in, in English? Um, the uh, principle of a free and independent press is one of the cornerstones of our democracy. We need to have uh, strong media voices uh, to ensure that our democracy is well functioning. We recognize uh, the transformation of the media industry, the digital world uh, that has undergone, been undergone over the past number of years. And that's why as a government, uh, we are there and we have made significant investments to support uh, the media across the country in their essential job of uh, informing the public and holding authorities to account. Uh, we are obviously very concerned with the recent news uh, from Capital Media, and we will uh, very much look at uh, what the federal government can do, um, as I'm sure everyone will look at what uh, can be done to ensure that there continue to be a range of vibrant voices uh, and uh, a range of, of uh, you know, strong, dedicated people uh, working in newsrooms uh, across Quebec and indeed across the country. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. All right, you've been listening to the Prime Minister who is in Quebec City now. He was making an announcement regarding uh, infrastructure there and bringing a tramway to both Quebec City and Montreal. But uh, we were listening in to hear if he would take any questions regarding the news today that Andrew Scheer is asking the RCMP to look into whether or not the Trudeau government committed a crime, uh, asking the RCMP to, to uh, launch a criminal investigation into the SNC-Lavalin affair.